Hi, welcome to another episode of Discovering Platte County with Dagmar. Today we are going to the dogs. We are in Parkville at Faux Paws, which is the Friends of Parkville Animal Shelter. And you will see it is right off of Nine Highway. There is Lakeview Drive and they are at the Ladybug Mailbox. And let's go down and take a look and talk to these people. Dun, 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 dun. And here we are at the Parkville Animal Shelter, Friends of Parkville Animal Shelter, Faux Paws. This is the dog house right over here. And over here is the cat house. There's Heather and Beth. Hi, how are you? And this is Leslie. Leslie, who do you have with you? Um, I have Nina and Lucky. Nina and Lucky, and they are two Bassets, it yeah. looks like. This is, this is Nina. This is Lucky. They're about 12 years old. About they came to us in December. Watch it. There's a car behind it. They came to us in December, and they're um, they were in really poor conditions. The elderly person who owned them was breeding them, and so they had a bad case of heartworms. They had a lot of other illnesses, but uh -huh. right now they've both been treated for heartworms. Right. On the road to recovery, and he is on the road. Period. Right. She's, she's gonna work for food. Oh, now if somebody's interested in uh, adopting a dog or a cat, how do they go about doing that? Well, they go to, you can go to our website, parkfieldshelter.com, mm -hmm. click on the adopt tab. All of our animals that are available for adoption are depicted there. There's a tab for cats and a tab for dogs. Um, there's also an online application. That's a good way to start. That way we can determine if you're a good fit for the dog or cat that you're interested in. Um, if you're not, we may suggest somebody else. But we also we do adoptions on Saturdays. Dogs go to mobile adoptions at Petco, um, Vivian and North Oak, from nine until one every Saturday. Cat adoptions are held here at the shelter from eleven to three. Mm -hmm. And then we also do adoptions during the week by appointment because we're volunteer based, um, so we don't have paid staff here during regular business hours. We right. do everything by appointment, um, but that's we we do seven days a week by appointment. So convenient schedules for everybody. Great, and so it's parkvilleshelter.com. Yes. Wonderful, and you can find all the information you need to adopt a new furry friend. And let's go walk over to the cat house. Thank you very much, Leslie. And this is Heather and Beth. How are you ladies doing? We're good. Good, you wanna show us what's going on in the cat house? Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on awesome. in. Beautiful day. We've got nice flowers to greet you. Aww. <laughs> it's much more quiet in the cat house. <laughs> so you come in and um, we've got plenty of felines who are happy to say hi. We've got um, a lot of kittens right now. Oh, here's one now. What's this <laughs> kitty's name? This is Balboa. Oh. He is a very friendly baby. He's a great example of one of the kitties who needed a little extra medical care. Um, so him and his brother needed some eye surgery. Um, and of course, Parkville was happy to do that for him. And now they're ready to be adopted. Awesome. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Let's go upstairs sweet. and take a look at the cats upstairs. Yep. Okay. Yep, we've got plenty of kitties and more upstairs. Wonderful. And there are many rooms, many, many rooms in this cat house. <laughs> These are some of our guys here that are looking for homes. Oh, this one looks like our Freddy. Hi. Hi there. And he's a talker. Oh, and you talk too, don't you? This is Sinatra. And he's named Sinatra because he does talk. Yes. He does sing quite a bit. <laughs> they have their own personalities. And this is Bianca. Hi there, sweetie. Yeah, sweet oh my goodness. Girl. So Beth, what can you tell us about some uh, ways that volunteers can help around here? Well, we have multiple. Obviously working both uh, in the dog house or the cat house. In the dog house, we need dog walkers and those that will take care of the kennels. Uh, there's morning and afternoon shifts. The same thing here in the cat house in that we need morning and afternoon shifts and you usually take a room that you're responsible to obviously take the cats out, clean their litter boxes, feed them, 
and then give them socialize, give them a little bit of love, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> a little Aww. snuggle. Uh, and as Heather was saying just a little earlier, the reason that uh, we have such contented kittens and cats is because they actually are socialized quite well and they're left out during the day, one at a time or right. two, depending if they can get along. Right. Uh, other things besides cleaning in the cat house, we have uh, Faux Pas Fabulous Finds, which is a resale store at 8 uh, East Street, right by the railroad tracks, uh, going down to English Landing Park. And uh, we have very generous donors of new and gently used items that um, we then resell. And thus we have the store that people could work at. Uh, we have usually three and a half hour shifts, morning and afternoon, Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's another option. And then last but not least, of course, we have events that are going on throughout the year where we raise money to take care of all of these animals. Great. And uh, one that's coming up fairly quickly, as a matter of fact, is May 1st is Denim and Diamonds. Mm -hmm. And uh, people buy tickets to the uh, luncheon, and it's a lunch with raffle items and silent auction items. Some of the silent auction items are Royals tickets, uh, diamond ring, um, uh, a cocktail party in your home, all the food and the beverages provided, all the decorations and everything in your home. Oh, that's a raffle event. That's, that's uh, a silent item. auction. Oh, that's silent, silent auction. auction. Okay, item. gotcha. Um, I'm trying to think of what else do we have. Oh, we have uh, three men who bake bread, and so they bring fresh baked bread. So we have a bread bakery that oh, wow. people that. <laughs> that people can uh, bid on uh, for the the fresh bread that was usually baked either the day before or that morning. Uh, there's also some activities. We have uh, one of our local jewelers, Parkville Jewelers, gave us a third cut, third carat marquee cut diamond that we have in a vault. Ooh. And the vault uh, will, will sell ch chances to open the vault. You'll, in essence, buy a code and then one person will actually be able to open the vault and then the diamond will be theirs. Uh, we also have mining for diamonds where people will buy a claim of some dirt some sand and they'll pour it through a sieve and if there is a crystal in it then they win a gift certificate we have a number of businesses who are incredibly supportive in giving us gift certificates and 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 uh, raffle items and so you'll win something if there's a crystal in your your claim or if there is no crystal in your claim then you get a lump of coal and you can press your own diamond <laughs> I love that. Yeah, so this is May 1st. It is a ticketed event, so uh, there are not tickets sold at the door because we have to plan for however many people we're going to have. Sunday, May 1st Sunday, at what time? Sunday, May 1st at noon, mm -hmm. and it goes until 2. Mm -hmm. At the? Uh, the Old Mill uh, at English Landing. Great. Wonderful. And, oh my goodness, what a wonderful place. Look at how, how relaxed <laughs> these kitties are and happy they are. Look at how happy the kitties are. That's right. Oh my goodness. Well, that's great. Now, if um, now again, the ParkvilleShelter.com is where they find information about volunteering and the events. There's future events that's coming up too, so it's not just the Denim and Diamonds. That just happens to be the one in May. There's also a golf tournament. I believe it's May 7th. Mm -hmm. I have to go to the website to verify the date, but I believe it's May 7th. Uh, there's also Paws in the Park, which is our annual event where people bring their dogs to the park. It's here in Parkville. And um, we are hoping for a litter reunion. In other words, we're going to have various litters that we have taken in and have adopted out and see if we can bring some of the litters together this year at Aww. Paws in the Park so they can just meet up again. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. That's cool. So that's really cool. <laughs> that's coming yeah. up. Uh, we usually do um, Santa Paws, which is photos with uh, your pet photos with Santa every year. That's usually at Pete and Max in December. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. I'm chocolate. Kind of, oh, chocolate, chocolate for Paws. Oh, yeah. chocolate? Chocolate? Yeah. Santa Paws? Chocolate for Paws. <laughs> and that uh, is usually, obviously, Valentine's Day. Oh. And uh, it's 
an amazing array of chocolate um, truffles, uh, dips, a chocolate fountain, uh, and such, uh, with raffle items and silent auction items. And that's usually right around Valentine's Day. That's wonderful. You all do so awesome work. Your <laughs> pets, your the cats and dogs are obviously very well taken care of by the volunteers here. They're very happy. They have places to roam. And I just want to thank you ladies, and Leslie too, who's downstairs, I want to thank you all for spending time with us as we discover... And we end another episode of Discovering Platte County with Dagmar. Thanks so much. We hope to see you at a faux pas event soon. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>